Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Phenom 2 X6 1090T. This is a hexa-core CPU that's six cores, all at 3.2 gigahertz. That's the default. Nine megs of total cache, six of which are the level three. This is a 125 watt CPU, as you can see here. It's an AM3 socket CPU, and uh, it brings a whole bunch of new things to the table here that we're going to look at more in detail. The beauty about it is that it will fit on your existing AM3 board or AM2 Plus, just a simple BIOS upgrade, and you're set to go. It will support the latest technologies, and of course, the turbo core technology that it turbocharges and basically allows you to increase on the fly. Uh, the um, core clock from 3.2 to 3.6 gigahertz. Now, I love the fact that it has lots of level 3 cache, 6 megs of it, and it supports USB 3.0. It supports, of course, the SATA 3, and it has all the power saving features as you would expect. And the new platform, the Leo platform, uh, supports DDR3, which you can keep using. It supports the new AMD 890FX chipset. Plop in this CPU, this 6 core, and an ATI Radeon 5870, and you're laughing with a top of the line system. Okay, so this is the new platform. Previously, we called it a Dragon platform with a 790FX chipset. Now, this one here is the latest AMD platform, and those are the components. This is my test system that I'll be using today, which matches those uh, components in that profile. We're using Black Edition. Um, memory from OCZ along with this black edition CPU which is unlocked of course so we can overclock this now at default you can see here that the frequency of the core is lower because there's no need to have it raised right if you don't have a lot of demand then there's no need to waste el electricity and power just only use the cores that need to be used right and you can see it's running nice and cool at 19 degrees Celsius here, it'll go as low as 15 on idle. And uh, on demand, if you push this to running 100%, all six cores, then it's going to go to 3.2 gigahertz and beyond that. So if you have the turbo core feature enabled, three of those cores out of the six will be basically boosted to 3.6 gigahertz automatically and the voltages will be adjusted accordingly as well. As you can see here, temperature is only going up to 30 degrees Celsius. Why is it so low? Well, the other thing is I'm using water cooling, okay? So voltage is low, temperatures are ultra low for 125 watt CPU. And here you can see in the AMD overdrive utility, I've got um, the current speed is fluctuating, of course, depending on what I have running in the background. And below that, is the turbo core control okay so you can see these are all the default settings I haven't overclocked or done nothing to uh, to the CPU and if you click on turbo core here it shows you how there's a target value of 3.6 gigahertz and of course only th up to three of these cores will um, jump to 3.6 gigahertz on demand when needed okay and of course the voltage will also fluctuate and increase along with that to, um, so to be able to support that uh, um, boost of performance. So um, if you were to adjust any of this, then you're obviously um, going out of the turbo core. You're overclocking it. Now here are some benchmarks with the Everest Ultimate Edition. You can see the defaults. I haven't overclocked anything yet. Turbo core has kicked in. That's why it says 3.59 gigahertz there and you can see here the different read write copy values that I'm getting and also in 3D Mark Vantage terrific CPU scores along with this HD 5870 that I'm running on the system you can see here all the frames per second 16460 is what we're looking at and comparing to other CPUs and as you can see here this is on par or even better than the uh, Intel Core i7 920 and 860 so these are CPUs that are basically priced around the same price range. Okay, so when we look at pricing, how much is this? Well, around $299 right now on Newegg. It'll be less than that depending on the deals that you can get. Compared to an Intel CPU, you can see here it's about $50 per core on this AMD 
and it's slightly more expensive obviously on the Intel now when we do further benchmarks to see how it compares to other Intel CPUs the PC mark Vantage is something that I use to calculate CPU operations and I compare that to other CPUs so you can see how well this one does compared to previous generation and previous uh, CPUs the SI software the Sandra software here that I use for comparison benchmarks again looking at the Intel Core i7 920 750 and the AMD uh, Phenom 2 965 here are the gigaflops the um, ALU scores and how it ranks against those other CPUs that I just mentioned so you can see here that uh, the SI um, Sandra software here is saying that it ranks number one and uh, game benchmarks of course looking at a couple of games here such as crisis and you can see here at the two different CPU speeds because I did have this running at 3.2 gigahertz which is the default and then I also overclocked at the 4 gigahertz and you can see the boost there how fast it actually performs and it really performs top notch when you overclock at the 4 gigahertz basically uh, nothing can touch this for, for the price because so for less than three hundred dollars you're getting six cores which runs nice and cool um, and the performance that you're getting I mean if you were to buy the latest Intel Core i7 980X which costs almost a thousand dollars well that one here is 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 uh, you can't compare it's night and day this is less than three hundred dollars for four gigahertz of performance six cores compared to to that one thousand dollar CPU so again you're, you're just trying to figure out what is the best bang for the buck depending on what you want to do and a lot of people say well what am I going to do with all this stuff right uh, all these cores I don't need them right uh, if you're only playing some games dual core is good and it's true but if you're doing a lot of encoding uh, video editing you're surfing the net at the same time maybe you're playing a game in the background you're rendering graphics and you've got all this stuff running in the background you're a heavy user of your PC you like to be able to run whatever you want to run without the system lagging well obviously then you get a six core CPU so I've got four tabs here of HD video running I've got a game in the background I've got rendering benchmarks happening I'm encoding video in the background at the same time converting from AVI I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff all at the same time yes all six cores are running full speed well they better because this is a terrific CPU from AMD and I definitely recommend it for less than $300 not bad at all so I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching